guys, Di here from Di's Den and I know you can't see this card very well sitting up like this but I just thought I would put it up like this so that you can actually see what I'm doing what this card looks like this has a stand on the back because I don't like a card that doesn't stand up I mean to me if you're going to have a card that you've got to lean up against something or, or lay down on the side to me it's pointless so I've put a stand on the back of mine so that it stands up nicely. This is called a crisscross card because it crisscrosses across the front and it has a lovely piece in the middle here for you to write your message on. Oh, I've got a dirty mark. No, that's not a dirty mark, it's just a bit of fluff. So this was my prototype and I thought it was absolutely gorgeous and I thought I would do it for my colour creation blog hop. And that would be for the 21st of February, but this is going to be a is uh, is March, so I might should do it. I'm a little bit ahead because I'm going to the um, oh, I'm going to the on stage in Melbourne, so and I will be away that week, so I'm actually getting a little bit ahead, so I can. You know relax a little bit and do some other things okay so let me show you what you need for this card all right so you need a piece of card now you can do this out of 12 by 12 if you want but i don't use 12 by 12 so i'm doing mine out of a four part card so this is 11 and three quarters by six inches then you will need for your insert a piece that measures five and a quarter by three and three quarters and then a piece for your little tab at the top, which measures about one inch wide by oh, three inches. So I think this is a little over. No, this is just under one inch. A little, just a little bit of scrap. So it doesn't matter. It's just so you can pull it out. Then for the layer on that insert piece, this measures five inches by three and a half inches. For my stand, I have a piece that measures four inches by two inches. And then for my DSP layer, like on the front of this one, if you want the same on both sides, you need two pieces. If you are not worried, you want like one, 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 and one the other like this, that's fine. You'll only need one piece. But I wanted mine both to be the same, so you will need two pieces that measure five and one eighth by three and five eighths. Now I've got a few bits of scrap here because I'm going to use my two inch circle punch and my decorative circle punch here for on the front of my card. Now I'm using, let me put my card out of the way again, this set called Trusty Tools and I'm only going to be using You're the Most Awesome and these nuts and bolts and or nuts and screws. But this set comes beautifully with this, these dies, um, so it comes as a bundle, and it's just gorgeous. These are in the mini catalogue, which goes from January until April. So if you want it, I would get in because I can I can see this when going down really quickly. So this paper, I'm not going to show you. Um, the paper because by the time this goes live this paper will have retired because this is actually part of the celebration paper so and that was the reason other reason why I wanted to do this before I um, before I went away because I wanted to make sure that I had this in it because of the color creation blog you have to use current okay so we're going to get on with this and we all need your six by eleven and three quarters, or six by twelve if you're using a twelve by twelve sheet, and you're going to score this on the long side, and you're using your small ball because we're using card, and you're going to score this at four inches and eight inches on the long side. So you'll have one that's a, a tiny bit smaller. Don't worry about that because that will be the one that we tuck under. And then we're going to score this at a half an inch all the way down one side. 
all the way down. Okie dokie. So now that we've done that, we'll pull that out of the way, we will cut away these pieces. So we're going to cut away this section here. Now, oh, come on. Trying to get it as nice and neatly as possible along that edge. And just with a tiny little wedge in there. Just the tiniest little wedge. And then we're going to do the same the other side. Now I'm going to turn it over because it's just easier for me. I can't cut backwards, unfortunately. And a tiny little wedge out that side like so. So we can get rid of those two pieces. And now we're going to fold and burnish these. It's easier to fold and burnish these before we do the rest of the cutting because of we can actually see the lines better. Okay, so we can see that we have a short side and a long side. So what we're going to do next is we're going to bring in our trimmer and we're going to trim from this score line here down to this bottom corner. In our trimmer so we've got a, a diagonal line so we've got this piece here and we're going to keep them because we can use them for the for our decoration and then we're going to do the same on the other side so from that score line all the way down to that bottom so we have our two pieces that now cross over each other like so. So I'm going to pull this out of the way for a minute. We're going to bring, bring that back again. And now I'm going to re reinforce these so that they, we know that they're nice and nice and tight down. And like with this one, I like to make sure it's nice and firmly there. Okay, so let's pop them out of the way because we can use them again. And what we're going to do next is we're going to put on our layers. So, we are going to cut these. Now, if you, as I say, if you're not worried about um, having two different patterns, that's fine. But for me, I wanted the same pattern. So, I'm going to cut this one, and I'll show you what I mean, on the diagonal from the top right to the bottom left. So, with this, and I'm going to turn it over because it's easier to show you. This will go here, and this one would go that way, and I don't want that. I want them both to be like this, so I'm going to pop this one on one side, because I will use that, and this time I'm going to cut this one from the top left to the bottom right. This will give me, oops, let's pop that in the middle, because we're using, um, design the series paper otherwise you will actually ruin the ends of that so you've cut one one way and one the other so one's left to right left top and the other one's right top and by doing that I now have two pieces that go on these like so okie dokie they look great now if I decided I wanted to do this colour, I can now use these two pieces. But as I'm doing the other way, I'm going to do it the other way. So, let's pop them out of the way, because we want these ones. Now to me, that just looks stock. That one fits on really, really nicely. But this is the short one. Okay, so this one doesn't fit on really nicely. So what we're going to do now we're going to bring in our trimmer one more time and this is entirely up to you but I'm going to pop this in my trimmer and I'm going to just trim off this long edge one eighth of an inch that way because that one's shorter it will now fit on there nicely as you can see 
if you're using six by six they will both fit on there nicely anyway so now let's do some gluing I'm going to get the glue off of the end of the tip here that's better let's hope it comes out nicely today into place just nicely how about that don't worry if that's a little bit close to the edge on that side because that's going to be under tucked under and you won't see it so but the one that's the longer one you're going to have to make sure that you get it on nicely Okay, so we've got that and we can see that it's the shortest side and we can always see that anyway because we can see that that one doesn't go all the way to the edge. So we're going to bring in our bottom piece, bottom piece, and we're going to pop some glue along this edge here on the short one. And we're going to bring this over, making sure that it's lined up nicely along this edge. And we're going to close that off. Once we're happy with that, we're going to do exactly the same again. This time, I'm actually going to do it on this piece. Because we know it's going to be right across there. We're going to bring this one across. And if we've got a little bit showing, we just wipe that little bit of glue away. And we can bring that across like this. Okay, so we have now our main card. I'm letting that dry nicely. Let me just wipe my finger along that set. That's it. So we have our main card and we're going to set, set that on one side for a moment. Next, what we're going to do, I'm going to put my pin in my glue. Um, I'm going to bring in my piece that is for my stand. And I'm going to bring in my scoreboard again. And I'm going to score this at, where's my scoring tool? Here it is. With, once again, using a small ball, we're going to score this at a half an inch on the long side. This is, and one and a half inches. Then we're going to turn it, and we're going to score this on half an inch. And then we're going to turn it again and we're going to score this at half an inch and one and a half inches. And then we're going to turn it one more time and we're going to score this at a half an inch. So we have three squares through the middle with two little pieces and two four, four squares on the corner. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to bring in my small cutting board and a ruler and my craft knife and I'm going to cut I'll use a, something to show you before we do it we are going to cut along this line along this line and this line we're going to do that on both sides so we're going to cut off this first square so from the second score line down to the first score line. We're going to do that on the bottom as well from the second score line down to the first score line. Turn it and then on the first score line we're going to score, cut between the first score line and the second score line. This will give us like a little flap piece here. Let's just make sure that's out. We've got this little flap piece like this. Can you see that? Let me bring that up a bit closer so you can see how that is shaped. We're going to do exactly the same on the other side. So we're going to bring in our ruler and we're going to go up to the first, second score line and cut down to the first score line. And we're going to do the same on the upper side down to the second, first score line. Turn it 
and then between those two score lines we're going to cut that way. This will give us our stand. Let me put my knife away so it doesn't get um, me stabbing myself with it. Whoops, a little tiny little bit that cut off there that didn't cut through so I'm just going to cut that out of the way. Whoops, there we go. Alright, so let's move that board out of the way. And what we're going to do now is we're actually going to fold and burnish on the second score line on both sides. So we can turn it around and we're going to go first score line, second score line and fold and burnish it. So we now have this piece that looks like this. It looks quite strange really, doesn't it? But this is going to be our stand and it actually really works well on the back of the card. Now, I'm going to show you, you can actually do this two ways. We know this card measures four inches wide. So at half an inch high by two inches in, that is going to be where you're going to pop this. So we know this piece in the middle here is, oops, come here pencil. Let's do this with a ruler on the board. There goes something on the floor. One inch wide. So if we just put a tiny little mark there so we know that that will line up. I don't know what we need. Oh, it was my, my scissors went in the rubbish bin, would you believe? <laughs> At least that was easy to pick up. So this is going to sit up here because we don't want it to sit too low. If we sit it too low, it won't stand up nicely. So I hope that makes sense. So I'm going to pop some glue onto the back of this. Now I'm holding these two pieces together on the other side so that I can put my glue on this like a cross piece here. Right down the middle and onto these two sections here. And then I will bring this back. I can lay it flat. Make sure I've got that little mark there. And I'm going to line that up with that one there. Which means that this will lay flat on the back and it will be level with the sides as well as the top and bottom. So let's pop that on there nicely. Once we've got that on there nicely, I can just bring in my rubber and remove those marks there. There we go, so they're all out of the way. And then that will stand up nicely like so. How cute is that? So as I say, I don't like things that don't stand up. So we're now going to go on to our pieces that go on the inside. These are the ones like this, and we're once again, we're going to score this piece. If you want to, or you can just cut it, uh, fold it over. But this is three inches long and, and I don't know what I've done with my score tool. That must have gone as well somewhere. Oh dear. Oh, I don't know where it's gone. How clever is it? Oh, it's on the floor, would you believe? Hang on a moment, I'll get it. It fell out of the little thing at the bottom here. At the bottom of this scoreboard, you have a place to put your your tool and mine fell out. So I'm going to score this piece at one and a half inches. It just makes a nice crisp line, that's all. And fold that in half. Okay, so we're going to try and we want to put this in so that when that's sitting on the top here, it doesn't go above five and seven eighths of an inch or to six inches at the very highest because you want this to be able to fit into a regular envelope. Now this piece measures four and three quarters so we need to put a mark at the top once again and I'll turn this around afterwards at two and six two and three eighths one two that's not right, so that's three and three quarters. 
So that's one and a half plus two, uh, one and seven eighths of an inch. We're going to put a little mark there so that we know that that's the middle of that. And we're going to do the same with this piece. We know this is a one inch piece. So I'm going to draw a line right down the middle here just so that I can line it up. Now that's entirely up to you how you want to do that. So I'm going to I'm going to do this in the middle of the page. So I'm going to draw another line here. I'm going to put my pencil here, my ruler here, so I can see that that is the six inch mark, which is three squares. So I know that I can't go any higher than three squares. So I'm going to pop some glue on half of this. And I'm going to bring this in and line this up with just three squares showing. And my lines match up on my piece of card there. I'm not worrying about the glue hanging out the top because I'm actually coming to put some more glue on this. So I'm not even worrying about getting the um, score line, the, the draw line on there off. I don't need to worry about that one little bit. So that's my tab on the top of my card. So now we're going to bring in our main card and we're going to do our little bit of stamping, which I'm going to stamp in Poppy Parade. Even though my Poppy Parade colour thing on this edge here looks pink, it's just not. It's a really lovely bright red colour. And I'm going to put this at the top so it can actually be seen. And then I'm going to bring in my nuts and bolts and I'm going to pop some of these down the side here. Just, just for decoration. That's all the stamping I'm going to do. Let's pop this one over. And pop some glue onto the back of that. And this should line up beautifully in the middle of that piece. And I'm going to pop the paint pin in my glue because it's quite a warm day here again today. Thank goodness it was not as bad as yesterday, uh, the day before yesterday when it was 38 degrees. It was a little bit warm. Okay, so we're going to pop our card inside, like so. And just the first time you're going to have to just give it a wiggle because you've got that piece at the bottom there. Give it a go. There we go. No, it's not going yet. I'm going to pop my pencil, my ruler in there or something just to give that a bit of a... There we go gone in there nicely now so that's going to sit up like so whoops sit up like that <laughs> okay now out of the paper that is retired um, when this goes live I cut out these tools so I'm going to pop that on one side for a minute and I'm going to cut out in the red oops I'm not going to cut out of that bit I'm going to cut out of this piece sorry my decorative circle and it fits in that piece just beautifully so why would you waste it when you don't have to that way I don't have to waste this piece cutting in two this one I'm going to close that up this one I'm going to, to do with a white circle so I don't have a choice I have to use my a piece of white so it's a bit bigger this time around but I try to keep it as close as possible to the edge and in that case, very close to the edge. Oh, come on. So that I don't waste too much card. 
I don't like wasting card. It's okay if it's a tiny bit, but we don't want to waste a lot. So I'm going to pop that onto there. I'm actually going to stamp it first. I'm going to stamp some more of those nuts and bolts. You're going to stamp it right round, I think. Oh, yeah, that looks fantastic all the way around there, like that, doesn't it? Okay, so then I'm going to pop this onto there. I do like the way that's turned out with those stamped all the way around there. It's nice to improvise, isn't it? Let's pop the pin in there again because we don't need that any longer. And we're going to bring in this piece and we're going to get some of our dimensionals. Up here. Come here. And pop on the back of this one. Now I will cut a tiny bit out of this bit the middle because I don't like to things to sag I'm going to pop this into the middle let's see if I can put that so that it goes up a bit higher and, then take, and now we can decide what kind of tools we're going to pop on here No, I want the saw on there. I definitely want that saw on there. So I'm going to pop dimensionals either end. So I want the smaller ones, wherever they may be. Come on. Well, I know they're here somewhere. There we are. On this end, I'm going to put two small ones. And on the other end, I'll put a large one. And a little bit of, oh, I do need the glue again. A little bit of glue in the middle like so. So that he will sit on there nicely because of, we don't want him to slide. And this is up on dimensionals, so need to do that. I'm going to pop that one that way, so I will put... I'm going to pick a nice big one on the back of this piece there and then glue down the rest of it. And then I think, yeah, I'm out of the rest of them, I think they're just, just these pliers or whatever you want to call them will go on here so once again I'm going to pop the end of the pliers off the bottom and just put some glue onto the arms handles whatever you want to call them And that's my card. Oh wow, yeah, I do like that. You will find that that will stand up really lovely. And I have got a couple more bits cut out, but I can actually put them on another card. So what do you think? Let me pop the pin in my glue. Ah, what do you think? I think it's gorgeous. And I like the way it says, you're the most awesome. And you've got all this room through the middle here. Do your writing. Oops, still a tiny bit tight in there. I'm going to pop my ruler in there this time. So maybe a little bit of glue went above and beyond where it should have gone. There we go. That's better. It wants to sit down in there properly now. How nice is that? 
Uh, this is my other card. This was my prototype, and I was really happy with the way that turned out. Except that I've made this a little bit too long, but I will trim that off. I will do that now while we're talking because I don't like the way that's sitting just that little bit too wide on there. Um, I decided to make, not thinking that this card is a little bit narrower by one eighth of an inch on what I usually make with a card. So that was why that was. And as you can see, they stand up really nicely, like so. But they look so good and they fit into a regular envelope. So this is a crisscross card. If you've enjoyed this card and you'd like to make this card, I have a written tutorial on my Facebook group page. You will find the link down below to the Facebook group page. It's called Doc oh, excuse me, Dyes Den for Stamping, Crafting and Tutorials. There you will be able to pick up the the um, tutorial for this you do have to join if you are not already a member of the group and you will have to answer the question if you don't answer the question I'm sorry I'm not going to accept you into the group um, but that's just one of my my that is my one and only rule um, if you would like to know more about these products these ones are all retired sorry these products here or would like to join my team as a demonstrator, a hobby demonstrator, or, or even a, a full-time demonstrator, I would love to hear from you. And again, you will find all the information down in the blog, um, down below, down here. So I will see you again next week. Oh, well, actually, I'll probably see you for the Wowser Wednesday before I go away. So I will see you then, and I will see you next week if I don't see you on that one. Bye for now.